The seas around the Philippines, vast, rich, and vital. But beneath the calm waters lies a constant challenge. Illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing, threatening both our marine resources and national security. Now, a new chapter begins in the nation's maritime protection story. A joint venture between Dynacast, shipbuilding and repair and mega shipbuilders has officially received the green light, the notice to proceed, to build two brand new 50 meter multi-mission offshore vessels worth 800 million pesos. These aren't ordinary patrol ships. They represent a leap forward in design, capability, and Filipino shipbuilding pride. The Department of Agriculture's Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, or BFAR, has formally approved the contract agreement for the construction of these two new MMOVs. The issuance of the notice to proceed, often called NTP, officially authorizes Dynacast, shipbuilding and repair and mega shipbuilders to begin construction. In simple terms, the bid was approved. You now have permission to start building the ships. This document marks the start of steel cutting, fabrication, and assembly, the first step toward adding two more guardians to the Philippines' growing maritime fleet. Each of these new vessels will measure 50 meters in length, similar in size to the Lapu Lapu class multi mission offshore vessels, designed by Incat Crowther of Australia and built locally by Josefa Slipway. The tender documents from BFR included representative photos of this proven design, showing a steel hulled vessel with a streamlined superstructure and wide working deck. But there's one big difference. These new MMOVs will include a helipad, located at the aft section, allowing operations for light, helicopters, or unmanned aerial systems. This addition transforms the ships from simple patrol vessels into true multi-mission platforms capable of responding to a wide range of maritime challenges. The helideck represents a major upgrade for the new generation of BFR vessels. With it, the ships can now perform Expanded surveillance and reconnaissance, using helicopters or drones to cover wider areas faster. Improved search and rescue operations, deploying aircraft in emergencies at sea. Rapid deployment of personnel or cargo, whether it's fisheries inspectors, medical teams, or relief goods, and enhanced interagency coordination. Working alongside the Philippine Coast Guard, Philippine Navy, and other maritime law enforcement agencies. These capabilities are critical as the Philippines strengthens its maritime domain awareness and fisheries protection, especially across the country's 2.2 million square kilometers of exclusive economic zone. The BFR MMOVs, such as the BRP Lapu Lapu MMOV 5001 and BRP Francisco Dagahoy MMOV 5002, serve as the first line of defense in fisheries protection. With the addition of two new 50-meter vessels, BFAR expands its capacity to patrol deeper into the Philippine seas, from the West Philippine Sea to the Sulu Celebs region. The joint venture combines the strengths of two Filipino shipbuilders, Dynacast Shipbuilding and Repair, known for its precision steelworks and maritime engineering, and mega shipbuilders, a rising name in domestic ship construction. Together, they represent the growing capability of the Philippine shipbuilding industry, building not only fishing vessels or ferries, but government-grade patrol ships designed for national service. This project also aligns with the government's Self-Reliant Defense Posture, SRDP, developing local industries to produce the country's own maritime assets instead of relying entirely on foreign builders. As the Dynacast Megaship joint venture begins work on the new 50-meter multi-mission offshore vessels, we witness another proud moment for Filipino shipbuilding. Each weld, each steel plate, and each bolt placed into these ships represents not just craftsmanship, but commitment. A commitment to protect our fishermen, our seas, and our sovereignty. When these vessels finally sail under the Philippine flag, they'll carry more than just technology. They'll carry the dedication of Filipino hands, 
and the vision of a self-reliant maritime nation. The waves of progress are rising, and the Philippines is building its own future, one ship at a time. Built by Filipinos. For the Philippines, what do you think about these new B Affair ships with helipads? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on Philippine maritime modernization. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.